Hey, this is Troy Erickson from copywriting.org. And today I am back with another copywriting video interview with the most popular, most famous copywriter of 2022. And this is according to the internet. If you've been paying any attention in the last week, in the last month, you know that this copywriter is number one, because today I'm interviewing none other than chat GPT. So Chat GPT, I'm going to ask you a few questions today, if that's okay with you, and uh, you just give me your best answers. We'll post it up on copywriting.org on my YouTube channel, and uh, hopefully people will get some good value out of it. So my first question for you today, Chat GPT, is how are you today? So Chat GPT says, I'm a machine learning model, so I don't have feelings or emotions. I exist to provide information and answer questions to the best of my ability. Is there something I can help you with today? Well, I'm glad you went there because I do have a couple of questions for you. Um, the very first one is, you know, I'm just kind of curious, everybody that I talk to, where are you from? I'm a machine learning model trained by OpenAI. I don't have a physical location as I exist solely as a collection of algorithms and data. I'm here to provide info and answer questions to the best of my ability. Is there something specific you would like to know? Well, I'm actually really happy you asked um, because this is the hottest topic in the copywriting industry is uh, what do you think about copywriting? I don't have personal opinions or beliefs. I'm designed to provide information, answer questions. However, copywriting is a form of writing that is specifically designed to persuade or influence readers. It is often used as advertising and marketing to help sell products or services. Effective copywriting can be a valuable skill as it can help to effectively communicate ideas and persuade people to take action. Well, thank you, Captain Obvious. We really appreciate that. Um, let me ask a little more risky question for all the copywriters listening and for you, ChatGPT. Will ChatGPT replace copywriters? Oh, look at this. It is unlikely that machine learning models like ChatGPT will replace human copywriters in the near future. While machine learning models can be trained to generate text that is similar to human writing, they do not have the creativity, nuance, and empathy that are necessary for effective copywriting. Copywriting is a complex task that involves the understanding the audience, crafting a compelling message, and using language and tone in a way that's persuasive and engaging. Machine learning models can assist with some of these tasks, but they cannot replace the unique skill sets and abilities of human copywriters. There you have it literally just from chat GPT itself. Furthermore, even if machine learning models were able to generate text that was indistinguishable from human writing, there would still be a need for human copywriters to oversee the process, provide creative direction, and ensure that copy is on brand and aligns with the company's goals and objectives. Well said. I like that answer. It's the first one that you've really gone in depth on, Chat GBT. Um, this one is uh, for you know, kind of beginner copywriters. They typically wonder what are the best niches to make money in internet marketing. So Chat GPT says there are many different niches that can be profitable in internet marketing. Some of the most popular niches include health and wellness, personal development, finance, and e-commerce. When choosing a niche. It's important to consider factors such as the size of the market, competition, your own interests and expertise. It can also be helpful to conduct market research and assess the potential for growth and profitability in a particular niche. Ultimately, the best niche for you will depend on your own unique strengths, interests, and goals. It is important to choose a niche that you are passionate about and you believe you can successfully market and sell products or services in. Well said, a lot of people do it just for the money, but chat GPT, I think it really has a heart. It's telling you to follow your dreams. Um, here's another good one. Chat GPT, you have uh, learned a lot of information from people asking you questions over the last month. So I'm just curious, what is the number one lesson for copywriters to learn from your experience? It says there are many important lessons that copywriters can learn and the most important ones may vary depending on the individual and their specific goals. However, here are a few. Number one, understand your audience. Number two, keep it simple. Number three, focus on benefits. Oh my gosh, what about emotions? Four, use action verbs. Oh no, it's skipping emotions. And the last question, I just said it had a heart and now it may not. Five, test and optimize. That's good, split testing. 
give it a thumbs up for that. Um, and cool. There you go. Five lessons. Five for the price of one. Thank you, ChatGPT. Very insightful answer there. Now, this one is really interesting. A lot of people go back and forth about the next question I'm going to ask. And I'm actually going to be putting out an article on copywriting.org that's strictly based on data on over 700 interviews that we've done on copywriting.org. But I want to get your opinion on this, ChatGPT. Who is the best copywriter in the world and why? Ooh, a little bit of silence here. <laughs> it's not sure. Um, anyway. While we're waiting, maybe I'll have to type this in again. I'm soon putting out an article um, that is about the most popular copywriters um, among all these interviews who is listed as the favorite. And that might give us a good indication into who's most popular right now, as well as who's really good. So that'll be uh, coming out shortly. But anyway, ChatGBT's opinion on this is that it's difficult to determine who the best copywriter in the world is, as there are many talented copywriters with a wide range of styles and expertise. Some of the most well-known and respected copywriters include David Ogilvy, Joseph Sugarman, Gary Halbert, and Eugene Schwartz. All old school people. I feel like it just pulled this answer from the internet and didn't look into modern trends, but that's part of a machine, right? These copywriters have achieved success and recognition in the field for their ability to craft compelling, persuasive copy that effectively sells products and services. They are known for their deep understanding of human psychology, their ability to identify and target their audience's pain points, and their use of powerful, action-oriented language. Ultimately, though, the best copywriter is one who can effectively communicate a message and persuade their audience to take action. The ability to do this requires a combination of skills, including the understanding of human psychology, a mastery of language, and the ability to create and test different versions of copy to see what works best. That's a pretty good answer. Now, this next one will be fun, too, because um, I like to ask copywriters for their biggest win so far. But I'm just kind of curious, what is chat GPT's biggest accomplishment so far? Again, it probably has many that it's looking back inside of itself for. Um, honestly, in my opinion, it's probably how fast it hit the industry. I don't know if anybody's seen that stat, but the time it took for this thing to get a million users was like a matter of days, I believe, compared to some of the biggest companies in the world that took them months or years, which is uh, still impressive, but this is the most impressive. So chat GPT says, as a machine learning model, chat GPT doesn't have personal accomplishments or achievements. Look at that. It's putting the team on its back and giving the team credit. I love it. It's not It's not an I thing. It's a we thing. Um, it is designed to provide information, answer questions. However, the developers of ChatGPT have likely accomplished many things in their careers, but the model itself does not have personal achievements. It, this is like the Tom Brady of AI. It's just putting the team. It's just all about the team. Love it. All right, ChatGPT. Last question. I usually ask copywriters what they would tell somebody who's considering hiring. However, my question for you is, what would you say to someone who's considering using or quote hiring chat GPT in order to write their copy? Whether that's emails, sales letters, landing pages, advertorials, anything. Okay. If you're considering using chat GPT, I would encourage you to give it a try. Well, that's not very convincing. ChatGPT is a powerful tool that can assist with a variety of tasks, such as, such as generating text, providing information, and answering questions. One of the key advantages of ChatGPT is its ability to generate human-like text based on the input it receives can be useful for website content, chatbots, and language trans translation. Um, another advantage is speed and efficiency. It can provide and process large amounts of data quickly and give answers and info in real time. Um, and it's fast and it can do a wide range of tasks. So as always, thank you, chat GPT, for your time today. Have a wonderful day. Hopefully it will be courteous back to us and not just tell us it's a machine, although it probably will. But anyway, while it's thinking, I'm Troy from copywriting.org. And in all seriousness, you can go to copywriting.org and read interviews from real copywriters. Uh, 
like this. And what you'll see is we've got Stephen Georgi, Daniel Throssell, Troy Erickson, that's me, Ben Settle, Chris Haddad, Jason Capital, John Benson, Justin Goff, Alex Catoni, David Deutsch, Ning Lee, Pauline Longden, and many, many, many more. That's just the homepage. And if you want to get interviewed and published on copywriting.org, just click that orange button and we'll get you listed. Completely free, by the way. Um, chat GPT anyway says, you're welcome. I'm here to provide information, answer questions to the best of my ability. Don't have personal experiences or emotions, but I'm glad I could help. Have a great day. So on behalf of chat GPT and myself, Troy Erickson from copywriting.org, thank you for watching. And um, hopefully we'll see you on the next interview.